If you are a beginner trader and you want to make a lot of money trading and you want to reduce your learning curve, the first thing which you should try is doing a deep dive. If you want to be a saving trader and you want to find moves which are explosive moves on a weekly time frame, so you want to find stocks which make 20% move in a week, then go and look at every stock which has made 20% move in a week for last three, four, five years. You look at 3,000 examples, you look at 5,000 examples. The deeper you study the time frame which you want to study, which you want to trade, faster your learning will happen. You can read 100 books on trading. You're not going to make much money. You do one deep dive, you're going to make much more money. You want to trade stocks which go up a lot in a month. Study every stock which has gone up 25% in a month. You study stock which have gone up 25% in a month for last two years, three years, four years, five years. You will study 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 examples. The moment you study those 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 examples, you will have an observation about how does a stock go up 25% in a month. You want to become a longer term holding kind of a person, want to look at stocks which double in a year, study thousands of examples, 3,000, 5,000 examples of stocks which are doubled in a year. Now that kind of approach is called deep dive. Deep dive is essentially whatever time frame or whatever particular chart pattern you want to study, you look at at least 3,000 to 5,000 examples of that and try and study them in a very short period of time. If you study them in a few weeks, what happens is you will get a deeper understanding of those setups and as a result you will be able to have a uh, methodology to trade them quickly. So extremely important for a beginner trader is to front load a deep dive. So if you want to make money in next one month, two months, three months, first thing which you should do is look at whatever time frame or whatever setup you want to, you want to trade pullbacks, go and find 3000 examples of the pullback. Look at them, categorize them, go deeper into it. The more deeper understanding you have of one set of idea, more likely that you're going to make money.